Yeah, I have so much to say. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I don't want to take up everybody's time. I want to respect everybody's time here, but wow. Okay. Yeah, going back to actually what Jillian was saying, I, as an actor, um, first of all, I am always grateful to be here, to, sit, to be sitting at the table. I can't believe that I have claimed this space in Hollywood. I mean, wow. And for that, I'm grateful. But at the same time, there's so much work that has to be done, and oftentimes, you know, I've been feeling afraid of the idea of getting some kind of feedback would be perceived as critical or bite the hand that feeds me, so to speak. And I imagine all of us feel the same. You know, you feel a little uncomfortable because you want to say something, like Josh being the no man. You know, you have to add that smile on your face when you give feedback. And it really takes up energy. So it's this really funny line that you tend to tread because I feel thankful and frustrated, like, hello, so much work has to be done. But I have learned the important thing from my experience just being on the Eternals. I mean, some of you know, you know, I have a lot of intersectionality of identities. I'm black, I'm Mexican, I'm a woman. I'm deaf. So those identities truly are very intersectionality. Ex ex there's a lot of intersectionality in that. And how do I advocate for myself on behalf of that? As a deaf person? As a person with a disability? You know, when I'm on set of, on The Eternals, I struggled with my hair, to be honest. It was hard. People that were hired to do my hair, they were great people. I mean, it took them a lot of time to do my hair. Almost six hours in total. So, um, so with some of my interaction with some of the other cast members who had specific needs also, one actually you know, had African hair, also had black hair, and he made the ask, he made the demand, and they delivered. They brought somebody in for his hair. They flew in people for his haircut, and through that I was like, wait, wait, I could have done the same thing. I could have asked for a specific hair person, like, hey, bring somebody else in, I love you, but great, bring in somebody who can actually do my hair in 25 minutes. You know, later I found somebody who could actually do my hair in 25 minutes. The same hairstyle in 25 minutes, not six hours. So with that experience, I realized the same thing for myself as a deaf person. Just ask. You know, the bottom line at the end of the day, what's most important to remember here is that you hired me to do a job. You want me to deliver? Give me what I need. Just like Josh mentioned before, you know, meet me someplace where I can deliver and do my work. So I feel that, you know, I, you know thanks to my intersectionality, I've actually learned important, important things about actually bringing all these things things onto your shoulders, consulting, asking for advice, all at the same time. You know, I guess as, even as a consultant, you know, you have to draw the line and say, no, that's not my job. I was hired to do one job and that's to act. Bring in another person to do all the things you're asking me to do.